Well, a local Taekwondo school is asking you to help them kick them all for Catonsville. They're raising money they need to travel to the national competition this fall. WMER 2 News' Ashley McDowell takes us to Taekwondo Baltimore to see what it takes to come out on top. Trophies fill the front windows, showing the accomplishments at Baltimore Taekwondo. When you step inside, you see very this good, very good. is a training back, center please. for world-class athletes. One. I train six days a week, an hour and a half from 7 to 8.30. Very good. I'm here all the time, and I help with like younger classes. So this is basically my life now. A lifestyle for 12-year-old Sarah Johnson. She shares with 13 <laughs> others, developing the skills it takes for the World Cup competition. We are training for the ITF World Cup in Mar del Plata, Argentina. It's an event that takes place every two years. Head coach Dan Diarmas says International Taekwondo Federation, ITF, is the original style of training they practice. And although the ages within this group range from as young as 12 to as old as 46, age is just a number when it comes to the punching, kicking, and specialty techniques used to come out on top. The best part about it is that it is all-encompassing. Um, it has something for everyone. And uh, I think that it's very introspective, like most martial arts, but it brings out the best in you. So much that for Sheldon Spencer, this Korean martial art has become a calling. You know, like a lot of people, you, you meet them and you realize they're still looking for their purpose, like what is their meant for, for them to do on this earth. I know what it is and it's this. The last time this Taekwondo school went to the World Cup, the team brought home nine medals. Spencer was there and says countries throughout the world share the love for the sport. Some old countries that are powerhouses still show that they're powerhouses and there were new surprise countries as well that showed that, hey, we're here to stay and, and we take this just as serious as everyone else. In October, 1,500 competitors from over 70 countries are expected to be at the competition. Until then, the team is raising money to get there through their efforts called Kick Em All for Catonsville. This year, they're aiming to come home with gold medals. Ash McDowell, WMAR2 News.